Hi guys, this is the Nerdy Tech Expert with another video and today I am going to show you how to properly enable Dolby Atmos in Cyberlink Power DVD 20. Many of the freeware video players like VLC Player and Media Player Classic can do this automatically by detecting the multi-channel audio and triggering the Dolby Atmos using the Dolby Access app. But unfortunately, Cyberlink Power DVD 20 cannot. And in this latest Cyberlink Power DVD 20 version, uh, it's very easy and a little trick can do wonders. So let's get on our desktop system and see how it is done. So here we are on our desktop and I've already installed the Dolby Access app from Windows Store and set it to movie mode and I'm ready to go. But one thing we want to make clear that how actually this Dolby Access app works and how does it actually trigger the Dolby Atmos for headphone effect uh, for the particular output device we are using. Uh, for this particular demo, I'm using my SteelSeries Arctix One wireless headset and these headphones are not surround sound by default. They are standard stereo headphones and uh, they don't have any sound enhancement or surround sound by default. So I'm using this app, the Dolby Access app for uh, surround sound and more enhanced and immersive movie and gaming experience. How this actually works, when you play a video or a movie with a multi-channel audio track, uh, this app detects that multi-channel audio track has been played on the system and then triggers the Dolby Atmos for headphones enhancement for the output device, right? Uh, many free players like VLC and Media Player Classic do that easily and automatically, but unfortunately powered DVD doesn't do that. So let's jump on powered DVD. go to PC mode and for this particular demo I'm using a Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker a movie and uh, this is the back of my original Blu-ray uh, and I would recommend that you uh, basically know the audio configuration of the movie you are playing for Dolby Atmos so uh, the recommended website is blu-ray.com I've already searched Star Wars Episode 9 Rise of Skywalker and it says here that it is 7.1 configuration audio which means 7 surround speakers and 1 LFE 8 speakers configuration and by default if you see uh, in Cyberlink Power DVD 20 setting uh, it is set in system default two speakers because definitely left and right stereo speakers set up here I've been using and when you play it uh, the Dolby Atmos won't fire I never lied to you your parents were no one they see in the standard stereo mode it won't fire because it is not detecting that multi-channel audio so simply go to settings go to video audio and subtitles and uh, the output setting drop down and set it to eight speakers why eight speakers because this particular video we are playing is configured in eight speaker setup and when you play it to be to keep you safe don't. you remember more than you say Dolby Atmos will fire and this is how you properly configure Dolby Atmos using a Dolby Access app on Windows 10 and on Cyberlink Power DVD 20 uh, if I manage to help you guys, then please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that whenever a new video comes out, you get notified right away. Thank you very much.